Hello everybody, welcome back Omega Given here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to add a bot slash mod to your Township Tale server. Now a little side note here before I get into it is first of all you should like and subscribe because if these tutorials help you out it just helps grow the channel and helps more people understand how they can build their servers and such. Second, okay, the main thing is you need to note with these bots is that some bots use functionality that do not work in quest servers or and I, I think most i think almost all bots work on pc vr servers so if it's if you're doing a quest server you need to make sure you find a bot that works for a quest server for example the voodoo mod does not work for quest because it does not have access to certain commands that a quest does not allow for example the quest does not allow spawn commands so if quest doesn't allow spawn commands how can it spawn in effects and things like that that can be able to do things like like magic like things so that's why um some of these mods don't work for certain things um so that's just like a little disclaimer out of the way um make sure you go and give credit to those that made these bots and everything um i'm going to be showing the voodoo mod um bot today so um, thank you so much uh, for creating this amazing mod and everything. I, I can't recall your, your name, at the time, but you go and check out the ATT meta discord. That's where you can find these people that make these bots for you guys and you'll be able to in install them on your servers. But how do we install them? That's the whole example of this tutorial. Um, now that minute is out of the way, minute 30. Um, let's go into the launcher. And then on the launcher, you're going to go and find your server that you are um, uh, messing with. Um, for example, I'm going to go and pull out my quest server. So this is not going to work. This is all theoretical, just showing you guys how this works. Um, let me get my magnifier out so you guys can see a little bit better. So I'm on my uh, quest server. This does not work. You're going to be putting a voodoo mod on the quest. It does not work, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So go in the bottom right, once you have your server up, you type in the name of the bo bot. You can see I already tried doing this because this is my third take of this. But you're going to be doing Voodoo Mod. That's the name of this bot in particular. There's other bots out there that you can install, like ones that might display the cave layers. Um, uh, when you're walking down in the caves, it, it can sense where you are, or sense. It uses an API, and there's a lot of technical stuff in there. It uses an API to be able to see where you are on the map, and it can tell, oh, you're in cave layer. So it displays there. It sends a server message to display it. So once you have this typed in, the name of the bot, which is Voodoo Mod, um, you can click the plus, and it will invite it to your server. Now, it takes a little bit of time, which actually did get accepted already, but it takes a little bit of time for it to add maybe 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, depending. Um, I don't know who manages these bots and stuff in particular. Maybe the owners of the bot itself probably do. I don't know exactly all those things. But once you have it added, you have to do one more step. So you added it to your server. But the thing is, it's using commands to be able to actually do like what the bot does. So you need to give it access to those commands. So now that Voodoo is on, what you do is you go down here and you gotta make moderator. So make sure you just make it moderator. Um, I don't think you should make it owner and so definitely don't do that. Keep yourself as owner of your own server if it's your server, um, but you can make moderator. Once you make it moderator, it will give it access to the commands on the, you know, dash touch of tail.com kind of stuff. That, that, that's those kind of commands to be able to do what it does. So it can be able to access the server announcement command for like if you're doing the cave layer bot. So it can then display, hey, you're on this layer. It'll send that message out. Um, if it didn't have those the moderator access, it won't be able to send out those commands and it won't work. So that's how it works and hopefully that shows you how like how you can add it. Um, if this has helped you out, please give this uh, video a like, subscribe. Um, I always like trying to provide tools for everybody that wants to start servers and everything. And yeah, I hope this helps you out, guys. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the SMT SMP, the ATT SMP.